Welcome back, KYC News Now. We're joined by meteorologist Caitlin. And I said it earlier, <laughs> it is a weird, weird winter. So you can't even call it a winter. No. It, you can't call it a winter. We talked about it. It just doesn't feel like it's Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> and we're like, we're, how are we supposed to be festive? I know. Well, you know I gotta, I gotta yeah, I mean, you got the hat on, but like, it would be helpful if we had a couple it, snow. You know? I, on my way here, I was listening to Christmas music and the song Let It Snow came on and I was like, instead I was saying, singing, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain, because we've got that. But if you're waiting for those colder temperatures, we're going to welcome the new year with some more winter-like temperatures. So we've got a nice strong cold front working its way into and through the area through this holiday weekend. Uh, we might see some snowflakes, but unfortunately it will be after Christmas. So I'll touch on all that in just a minute here. Here's what it looks like from Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato. Again, not a whole lot going on yet. It is very damp and soggy out there, but it is rather quiet as of this moment. And that's going to change shortly. Temperatures as you go out, maybe you're going off to see some decorated houses or the Kiwanis lights are in the mid 40s. We're at 45 here in Mankato, St. James, New Ulm, Owatonna and Glencoe, 46 in St. Peter. It's about the warmest we have. The coldest in quotes that we have coldest is 43 degrees in a good portion of the area as well. So not too bad with temperatures, but there is a good breeze out there coming out of the east southeast anywhere up to really 15 miles an hour. A couple areas reaching closer up to 20 miles an hour. So with this breeze and those cooler temperatures, just keep in mind it might feel a tad cooler like those mid to upper 30s, low 40s. So a little bit cooler feeling than what those temperatures are reading. Now I mentioned it's going to change here soon. Taking a look at that satellite radar imagery. We have been cloudy through the day today and we've been rather dry. Just some mist due to some fog out there. Now we got those showers slowly working their way into the area from the southwest. And as we take a look at the future cast, they're going to slowly make their way up. This is showing that's going to be here by seven. It's probably going to be here closer to eight or nine, given that um, this picks up some lighter rainfall. So depending on if we get lighter rainfall or night, it, it's likely to hold off another hour or two. It'll be spotty at first. We're not looking at widespread showers. We're actually looking at kind of isolated to scattered going into the overnight hours. You might wake up with a break from rain. And again, it might still have a mist out there because we are dealing with really low level clouds. Now the bulk of that system is going to move through Sunday into Monday, bringing in widespread showers through Sunday night into Monday. And then that cold front is going to cool us down as we go through Monday, which means we might see a transition to a rain snow mix. Could see a few snowflakes out there, so fingers crossed. The Christmas miracle, though, is we've got some much needed precipitation, regardless of what kind it is. Right now it is rain. We're looking at anywhere from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch, likely across the area by seven o'clock Sunday morning. So again, we are dry, so this is good whether it's rain or snow. We will take that 45 for the low tonight. That's going to be around 10 o'clock tonight, and then temperatures are going to start rising through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. We're going to see about 50 around tomorrow morning and then a high of about 54 by tomorrow afternoon. Here's a quick look at your extended forecast. Again, put that towel out for Santa so he can dry himself as he's delivering presents. We'll see a gradual drop in temperatures going into next week. We'll, we will welcome the new year with those low to mid 20s for January 1st. Stay tuned. We'll be back after the break.